Hey, welcome back to Midwest Outdoors. I'm fishing with my good buddy, Dave Lofgren. We're fishing with some new CCI rods in the lineup, the Perch Seeker rods. I absolutely love perch fishing. This time of year, nothing better than hitting the ice mm -hmm. on a nice warm day yep. and whaling on some perch. Yeah, this is the best ice rod I've ever put in my hands, and we're gonna just whale on some, some fish today, Tony. There we go. Fish on. That's what I love about this rod is that rod tip, man. You can see everything in that tip. I'm fishing kind of a heavier tungsten jig here, and you can see that rod tip sits flat, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. See how that tungsten, it sits flat, it's not bowed over. I have total control over that bait. Even though I'm using mono, I can feel everything with that tip. I mean, that's how that rod was built. Look at that, look at how that loads up. I mean, it's a perfect perch rod, but it can carry the load of walleyes, bigger game fish, big bluegills. I mean, it's just a, like Dave said, it's one of the best rods he's ever picked up, and I, I'd have to agree with him. That's the way it's supposed to go. Better fish. There you go, Dave. Yeah. How's that for some action right there, boys, huh? Nice little perch. Let that one go. Get back down there. Boy, I tell you, this, uh, this rod here, it loaded up so nice at the tip that when that fish came up on that locator and grabbed that bait, that's what you, that's how you design a rod for pan fishing, boy, right there. So Tony, you know, let me ask you a question. You were pretty instrumental in this perch seeking rod that we have from uh, in our CCI series. What what was going through your mind when you when you wanted us to to do this this rod for you? Well, like any Saint Croix rod, Saint Croix does it right, and. You know, I knew that we could build a rod far superior to any other perch rod out there. And, you know, just the composition of this rod, you know, with the tubular carbon and the, the fiberglass tip and the way it loads up, I fell in love with it from the beginning. I love chasing perch throughout the winter months, and I knew that St. Croix would make a rod that would yeah. everybody would fall in love with. Just watch this tip load up here when we get bit. Nice thing about this is when you do that, did you see that? So what I did was I actually took my eyes off my locator and watched the visual, I watched the bite, which was really cool. Nice which work, is, Dave. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I did is, like I said, I took my eyes off the locator and I watched this tip, which is a, it's a, got a high-vis tip to it. But when you can do that, that's really cool. That's the key to that. There we go. Little fatty. Oh, I gotta get back down there. That's the thing about perch fishing. If you land on them, you gotta get back down there as quick as possible. I'm fishing kind of a heavy beaded tungsten jig, and that's what I love about tungsten, and I think most anglers will agree, is it fishes heavy, but you can get right back down there. There's a better one. Nice big belly. So you can see that heavy beaded tungsten I'm fishing. Now Dave's got a plastic on, but I've got kind of a beaded tungsten with dressing on there, a little maggot or wax worm. Now we're starting to get into a little bit better perch here. Yeah, they're getting big here. That's the thing about perching. This is what makes it exciting. When you have that school down there, they're just electric, they're all over the place. Even though they're light biters, and that's the thing about perch is, even though they're aggressive, a lot of times they're light biters, and that's why you need a rod like this. And, well, that's why St. Croix builds a rod of this caliber, so it really gives you an advantage over a lot of other anglers out there. Oh yes. God, and I didn't even have bait on that time either. I just threw back down there because they were going, and my last fish took my, uh, my larvae, so I decided to just drop down there with this piece of plastic, and sure enough, I got bit again. Nice little perch. Just a matter of finding fish and catching them. Well, you were right about one thing. When you get on these fish, they're, they're going. And I don't think there's anything more fun than catching a bunch of giant jumbo perch. One of my faves. There he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so like cool that. to see. Oh, yeah, not a bad fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Decent perch? Yep. Man, what a great day. It's gorgeous out here. The perch are biting. <laughs> you yeah. can't ask for much better. That's very true. 
Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Tony. You know, the, the input and the, the influence that you had on this, this perch seeker rod is, I mean, we saw firsthand today. Um, the great job you did, but you know, more importantly, Tony, you know the reason why St. Croix exists, and that is to provide, to provide every angle of the upper hand, whether it's on the ice or the open water, and you, you know that firsthand. Well, no, it works both ways. I mean, the engineers at St. Croix are obviously top notch, and I've always been told, you know, having the right tools to get the job done makes a big difference. It's no different with rods. You know, fishing this rod, it's just an absolute treat. Once you pick up this rod or any rod in the CCI lineup, you fall in love with them. It's mm -hmm. like any of the rods in the St. Croix family. You know, open water, on the ice, I'm hooked, man. And it's, yeah. it just makes the experience so much better. <laughs> I can't say enough about the CCI rods. I'm, I'm smiling from ear to ear, man. Well, right. let's go back and catch some more perch. All right. Hey, for Dave Lofgren, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.